Okay, I'm, I'm at the very top level of the Phoenix parking garage. I'm at level six. I'm at level, come to level nine. Oh, well, come, gra come grab the bags, because I can't Uber with all four of these bags. Can you just come grab the bags? There she is, there she is. Come on, Abby has to make this doctor's appointment. I think you're you. Okay, bye. Love you. Woo, oh my gosh. And she's off to the doctor. Oh, look at that mountain. That's a really pretty mountain. I somehow made it to the doctor's on time. We'll see if Matt makes it in time, but if not, we did everything we could. A little bump date while we have time. Not a huge bump, but there's something. This is it, so we drop off the car. Okay, I'm in a really weird spot right now. I'm at the rental car center, but I don't think Ubers can pick you up from the, the rental car center. So I think we need to take the train to the airport and then get picked up from the airport. So I'm now returning to the airport. Something I just realized is this is actually the first pregnancy appointment that I've missed of Abby's pregnancies, which makes me feel pretty bad. I need to do something to make it up to Abby. Now let's find my Uber. I think that's him. How are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Good. We're there in like one minute. I think we're pulling, yeah, we're pulling up in literally one minute. Okay, I'm standing outside. Oh, sweet. Okay, did you just get done? They took my blood. They checked the baby's heartbeat. Everything is great. That's the first appointment he's ever missed. Good thing it wasn't a very exciting appointment. That was a crap show, dude. That was a crap I had to drop show. off the car and then go all the way on the shuttle to the airport and then come <laughs> pick you up. Were you late? Did you make it on time? I made it. Oh, good. Okay. Griffin is going at it. <laughs> So hungry. Oh my gosh, how are you, babe? Oh my gosh, can't flash the whole internet. That dude, bro, eat your milk. He what are you doing? You're getting distracted by the vlog camera. Okay, so what did your old wife still say? I'm pretty sure it only works for first trimester. But what was odd though is when we did all the wife's tales for the first pregnancy, said we were having a boy, and they were right. That's science. That yeah, you know that's science right there. <laughs> we're home. I did my makeup in the car in case they're wondering. Are we gonna do the Christmas tree now or what? We need to do something. Good morning, Puchacho. Sorry that you're sick. I feel like it was the traveling. Yeah. It's I think too much. It's all been, I think I'm honestly just exhausted. A little update for you guys. We did not take our Christmas tree down. We're gonna do that today. It's gonna happen. We just gotta get after it. Yesterday was, you know, it was a crap show. We will make it happen, right, Seriously, babe? I feel like I can't keep my head above water recently. Okay. It's been two days. Our Christmas tree is still up, but I'm gonna take it down right now and surprise Abby. She's upstairs. The star! Yeah. This is section one off. Maybe I should collapse this somehow. There we go. Hey. Not so bad. Oh! Ah! Holy ball! I've got like an indent. Do you guys see that indent? That's the weight of the Christmas tree just going down on my freaking finger. By the way, if you haven't already subscribed to our podcast, you guys should do that because we have such a freaking sick studio in this really dope light. And where's the box? That is our Christmas tree box right there. So I need to get that out. Seriously though, we've been staying consistent. We haven't missed a day so far and we have not been good at posting YouTube videos consistently. So if you want consistent content, follow our podcast, okay? <laughs> Oh, fun fact for you guys, we tied this knife to the top of the Christmas tree because the star on top wouldn't stay put and it helped the star from falling off. So I have to take this knife off. Don't come down, don't come downstairs. This is the Blue Land Clean Essentials Kit. This stuff is amazing because think about how many single use plastics you're using and all your different cleaners you use around your house. This is a forever bottle. Let me show you how it works. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna fill it up to the fill line and then I am going to take one of these little packets. These are effective and affordable because Matt, guess how much one of these little tablets is for this whole bottle of cleaner. Uh, five dollars. They start at just two ninety-five. Dang! What do you that's think really about good. it when you're buying cleaners from like the average cleaner from the store? You're paying for ninety percent water. Oh, dude, you're so right. So you're just paying for the cleaning. That's product. really nice. And it can become more and more affordable because you can do a subscription plan or you can buy in bulk. What you're doing essentially, you're saving money and you're saving the environment. And there's no harmful ingredients in anything they use. Oh, that's really cool. They make a hand soap too. That's really cool. Oh, are we cleaning off the countertops now? Yes. Wait, I want to smell it. Ooh, that, that smells, smells good, really good. But the good. hand soap's my favorite. Blue Land's products are hypoallergenic and sourced from vegan and non-GMO ingredients. And Blue Land has a special offer just for you guys. Oh, sick. All you have to do is click the link below to get 15% off your first kit. Thank you, Blue Land. Okay, I have a surprise. Yes. Be ready to have your mind blown. It's not a new light. Whoa. 
Christmas tree is gone. That's crazy. Yay! Wow, thanks for doing that. Of course. Bryce Map? You're joking. Okay, being a parent, now I just do not take time for granted ever, especially time where my son is asleep because now I can get stuff done. We never wanted to be those parents that were like stuck on a schedule. Well, look at us now. We believe in a schedule. Time to make a TikTok. <laughs> If you want to see my makeup videos, you can go to my TikTok. That's so funny. It just, I still can't even believe that this is what I do. This is for you, buddy. It's kind of nice that Griffin's now eating solids because it kind of just is like an activity that keeps him entertained for a while. Like today I'm gonna empty out the dishwasher. Yeah, it's just kind of a nice minute to kind of catch up and get my day started well. Part of getting my life together means I finally start cooking at home. Since we were traveling, obviously we weren't really having any home cooked meals. Like it just feels good to have a home cooked meal, you know what I mean? Even if it's something simple. So I am running to Costco right now. Costco is not a place you want to be when you're in a time crunch because there is just too much ground to cover, too much to think about. I'm stressed. Okay, now I gotta get home really quick because Griffin's gonna need my boobs. <laughs> All right, we just bought 222 diapers for this child kind of right best here. Deal on the market. Yes. Okay, this is slightly concerning. Tell me how we spent 400. And 65 flipping dollars at freaking Costco. There's just a few things on here. I'm like, that's crazy. Like shrimp. We spent $13.99 times three because we got three things of shrimp. 42, we spent $42 on shrimp. We haven't seen you guys in like a whole entire week because we forgot to vlog. There's been a lot going on, but we're getting our life back together. And I'm very happy you guys that our Christmas tree is down. All the Christmas stuff that you saw earlier in the vlog is no longer here. I think some of these things just in your mind seem to be like some big task. And then you just put away the Christmas tree and it's actually not that big of a deal. So thanks for feeding my kid. Sure yep, you're a cute kid, Griffin. And that's a good lady. Oh. <laughs> So here's our fridge tour. I love watching what? people do these because that inspires me of things to buy. New yeah, fridge. ooh, okay. Got our drink section up here on the left. We shop at like Aldi mostly, but also Costco. So we have Matt's energy drinks right here. Yeah, you look which, like you have a problem. Here's that dude. Costco salad. It's yes. so fire. This is leftover from when my mom was visiting. Yes. <laughs> and this is also leftover from when my mom was visiting. Dude, what is up with all these leftovers? I got some guacamole because this was on sale mm -hmm. and it comes in three separate bowls, so yep. it'll stay good. Over here we have some good old almond milk for smoothies and some plain old whole milk because we're from yes. the Midwest. Right here is my bowl of peas. I was, I, I'm actually embarrassed, honestly, showing you guys this. I should have eaten this whole thing by myself. Eggs down here because I eat a lot of eggs. Abby eats a lot of eggs. Griffin eats eggs every morning. And then we've got like pico and tzatziki. We've had this meat in our fridge for like three months. Is it this stays okay? good, yeah. We're having sure it for that? dinner tonight. Or no, not tonight. Wait, <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. We have some of these protein bars. They're okay. Do you actually like those? Well, I like how they're chocolate in them. Oh, they really okay. are just filling, so I like them. This okay. is our fruit drawer. This is our vegetable Wait, drawer. Oh, fruit and vegetables. Very cool. And cheese. Does that mean that we kind of adulted and have our life together? I mean, pretty much. The Christmas tree is down, and we have everything nicely put away in our fridge. Oh, hey, nice belly. <laughs> subscribe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Why are you trying to bite my arm right now? What is wrong with you? You just you look good today. I can't okay. understand it. And if you missed the vlogs, let us know. We'll try to do these more. We've just been kind of busy. Abby's still trying to bite my arm. Please stop trying to bite my arm off. What is wrong with you? <laughs>